The Life and Sad Ending of Jack Nicholson Jack Nicholson was born John Joseph Nicholson on April 22, 1937, in Neptune City, New Jersey, the U.S. to John and Ethel May Nicholson. John was a department store window dresser and Ethel May was a hairdresser as well as a talented oil painter. June Nicholson, whom he believed was his older sister, was an aspiring actress. June died of cancer in 1963 when Jack Nicholson was 26 years old. More than a decade after her death, in 1974, a Time magazine reporter researching a cover story on Nicholson discovered some shocking information. June was in fact Nicholson's mother and John and Ethel May were his maternal grandparents. Nicholson lived in Neptune City for some time in his childhood but a few years later the family moved to Spring Lake and he was enrolled in the local school, Manasquan High School. Nicholson was often in trouble during his school time and in fact, his schoolmates voted him the class clown for their class which graduated in 1954. In 1954, Nicholson moved out to Los Angeles, California, where June, whom he still believed was his older sister, had an apartment. There, he worked part-time in a toy store and also landed a job as a gopher for the animation department of MGM Studios. By this time, Nicholson had matured into a lean and attractive young man, prototypical of the leading men of Hollywood movies at that time. An MGM producer named Joe Pasternak noticed Nicholson's good looks one day and landed him a spot in Jeff Corey's famed acting classes, as well as an apprenticeship at the Players Ring Theater. Jack Nicholson had always wanted to be an actor and his first assignment as an actor was with the Players Ring Theater in the year 1957. Nicholson made his film debut in the 1958 flick Cry Baby Killer playing a teenager who mistakenly believes he committed murder. Throughout the 1960s, he continued to appear in most horror films. After a small role in the 1960 dark comedy Little Shop of Horrors, Nicholson appeared in The Terror 1963, Back Door to Hell 1964, Ride in the Whirlwind 1965, and The Shooting 1966. Following his work as a stage actor and appearances in low-budget films, Nicholson thought that his career as an actor was finished which is why he took to screenplay writing. He wrote the screenplay for Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper starred The Trip, which released in 1967. Two years later Nicholson got his first big break when he was cast in the movie Easy Rider, also starring Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper. The year 1970 proved to be a particularly fruitful one for Jack Nicholson. He starred in the film, Five Easy Pieces which proved to be a career-turning role and he was instantly regarded as the new big thing in Hollywood. In the same year, he appeared in, On a Clear Day You Can See Forever, and over the next few years he starred in films like, Carnal Knowledge, and, The Last Detail, which received critical appreciation. It was in 1974 that Jack Nicholson was cast in Roman Polanski's cult classic thriller, Chinatown, and Nicholson's role as the detective earned praise from critics and viewers alive. He was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor for that role. The next year Nicholson delivered his greatest ever performance in, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and followed it up with, The Passenger, the same year. In 1980, Jack Nicholson appeared in yet another landmark role and this time it was in The Shining, directed by Stanley Kubrick. The 1980s was a productive period for Nicholson as he starred in such films like Reds, The Postman Always Rings Twice, Ironweed, and Terms of Endearment, among others. Nicholson portrayed the role of The Joker in the movie Batman. Released in 1989 and the film was a resounding success as it earned close to $100 million. Three years later he delivered another memorable performance in the film, A Few Good Men. After starring in films like, Mars Attacks, Hoffa, and, Main Trouble, Jack Nicholson delivered a blockbuster performance in the movie, 
as good as it gets in 1997 alongside Helen Hunt. Two years after the turn of the new millennium he starred in, About Schmidt, and followed it up with, Anger Management. Jack Nicholson played the role of a deranged gang boss in the 2006 film, The Departed, starring Matt Damon and Leonardo DiCaprio. His portrayal of, Frank Costello, earned him a Golden Globe nomination. The following year he starred in, The Bucket List. Jack Nicholson is unquestionably one of the greatest actors of his generation. In addition to his sheer volume of iconic roles, Nicholson stands out for the incredible range of characters he has convincingly portrayed. Sad, in 2013, reports surfaced that Nicholson was retiring from acting at the age of 76. A source told Radar Onlini that the legendary actor has memory issues and can no longer remember the lines being asked of him. There has been no official comment from Nicholson on the matter. His last film was the 2010 romantic comedy How Do You Know? In personal life, Jack Nicholson got married to Sandra Knight in the year 1962 but the marriage ended six years later. The couple had a daughter named Jennifer. Throughout his life, Jack Nicholson had a string of relationships and some of them include actress Susan Onspach, Angelica Hudson, and model Winnie Hallman. Nicholson had a daughter with Winnie Hallman. Nicholson got into a romantic relationship with actress Rebecca Broussard in 1989 and during the five-year relationship, the couple had two children a daughter named Lorraine and a son named Raymond. Later, Nicholson had a brief relationship with actress Laura Flynn Boyle. Nicholson's net worth is up to $390 million. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Jack Nicholson. Like and comment on your opinion in the comments section below.